Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Charlotte Kahn and you're watching Telecom TV. One of the last frontiers for mobile network operators to innovate at the edge is 5G Open RAN CNF. This is why Japan wireless network operator Entity Docomo has partnered with a range of companies to create the 5G Open RAN ecosystem or OREC and one of them is Red Hat. To find out more about the OREC project, its potential, and how Red Hat is supporting Entity Docomo to deliver this vision, I am joined by Abeta Sadayuki, who is Vice President and General Manager of the Radio Access Network Development Department at Entity Docomo, and Honoré Labordet, who is Vice President of Industry Verticals, Telco, Media and Entertainment at Red Hat. So, hello to both of you, and thank you for joining me today. Now, Abeta San, I'd like to start with you. First of all, why OREC? What drove Entity Docomo to create this ecosystem? Can you tell us a bit more about the market potential of OREC, as well as the challenges and opportunities, of course? So, when Entity Docomo launched the Fabric Commercial Service in March 2020, our network is a fully mass vendor interoperable RAM uh, using OREC interface from day one. So different vendors' equipment is developed in the uh, same geographic area. In other words, we can uh, select the uh, best vendor solutions according to deployment scenario. Actually, after the day one deployment, new capabilities such as millimeter wave, uh, sub-6 carrier aggregations, the various uh, combination of the radio unit type and the uh, distributed unit by the different vendor uh, has been introduced. And recently, we uh, set the new audio vendors. So Open Now will enable communication uh, service provider to be free from the vendor's lock-in and the adopt best of the breed solution for providing optimizing service to the end customers with shorter time to market. So openness in LAN can be categorized three parts. First, the open interface realizing mix and match of the LAN equipment for the different vendor. And second one, the virtualization allowing the disaggregation of the LAN equipment, hardware and software so-called Vila. And third one, the intelligence driving optimization and automation of RAM operation. The first one uh, I have already expressed, and the uh, uh, second one is today's main topic for us. So by bringing the virtualization to RAM, we can ex expect the following benefit. First, the best of breed run solution by disaggregating software and hardware. That means that we can avoid the vendor lock in. We can reduce the capex opex by leveraging the cost, cost hardware. Increase extensibility of the run service by run software upgrade. Improve the performance with the uh, uh, latest generation hardware platform and bring that the deployment flexibility. And the second one is simplify and the intelligence run operation by virtualization and the automation technology. So uh, we can leverage any free technologies and realize the RIC, the radio intelligent controller and their touch provisioning. And third one is shared, uh, shared infrastructure and operation from the edge to core. So uh, common inf infrastructure and operation across LAN, core, and MAC. And the unified life cycle management of virtual resources and uh, applications. So we can expect a significant cost reduction and much vendor, uh, by much vendor compassion and uh, use of the code hardware. However, there are some challenges to introduce VLAN efficiently. First one, we need end-to-end -end integration, increase VLAN integration, match vendor interoperability testing among the equipment. The second one, the performance, such as the capacity, throughput, 
power consumption of current available VLAN seems less competitive than that of the traditional dedicated hardware, and VLAN need to improve the computational power. However, we have already estimated the performance of the latest COTS and the accelerator can achieve the same level of the performances or more performances than the traditional hardware. And in this case, VLAN with, uh, uh, with few years becomes more attractive and competitive. So we solved the uh, challenge through the working with our partner, such as Red Hat. This is the reason why we create the Open LAN ecosystem, OREC. Now, Honoré, what would you say is the raw obligation maybe of the ecosystem to support MNO success in CNF-based Open LAN adoption? The role of the ecosystem is to bring the flexibility of multi-vendor CNF solutions, enabling a diverse ecosystem for MNOs to choose best of breed from CNF vendors, hardware acceleration vendors, and server vendors by leveraging capabilities like Open Operator Framework and Kubernetes Operator for their 5G CNF deployments. This is one of the reasons why Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform is the right platform for Open RAN ecosystems. This operator framework helps to create Kubernetes declarative operator patterns for MNO's CNF designed to deploy, manage, and orchestrate multi-vendor CNFs, CUs, and DUs, running 5G RAN service while harmonizing current operational processes. We are, we're also adopting a new RAN hardware acceleration devices, such as Intel SmartNIC, FPGA, NVIDIA GPU, and many others, all of which is designed to ensure that across this, um, our Red Hat OpenShift you know, container platform that MNOs like NTT Docomo can uh, have the choice and the best of breed of CNF vendors, of hardware vendors, of server vendors, and continue to innovate as new uh, CNF uh, applications and capabilities uh, come to market. All of this is designed to help support accelerated time to new services, um, many of which NTT Docomo is looking to deploy. And OREC brings all of that together, um, brings that ecosystem together uh, to ensure that all of this is done successfully. Abeta San, how um, do you expect Open RAN to enable new opportunities for early adopters, but also mainstream and late adopters? And, and what do you see as the barriers or maybe conditions for adoption? Uh, so in, in, in the 5G era, a creation of the new vertical market utilizing the mobile open network will be facilitated. So Docomo established 5G open partnership program to create new services and solutions through the collaborating with the vertical uh, partners, such as the medical, local government, automotive, construction, retail, so many uh, area we are working with. We received a strong request and expect from our partners. Under these circumstances, operators need to keep evolving our network by adding new network equipment and uh, replacing existing, existing uh, equipment. So with open interface and open application program interface, so-called API, so operators can freely choose the choose and adopt the best of breed solutions among the various vendors, uh, considering time to market and cost in this process. But adding the replacing or uh, replacing the required equipment. So early adopters, I believe they love new technologies and uh, create new services. With Open RAM, introducing of new technology will be facilitated and more opportunity will be created for new services. A partner in OREC, a frontier and provider of all open network, open round, and they are, they have their uh, various uh, technologies, including AI or so uh, open, uh, tech, open technologies. So OREC will be to re leverage these technologies 
and will support smooth and quick introduction of technology for early adopter radio networks. Further network cost reduction is also expected through the uh, expansion of the ORAM and uh, VRAM introduction. This is achieved through the cost reduction of general purpose equipment as well as accelerators. So a challenge is barrier of open run uh, how coordinate with uh, existing LAN equipment. Now, talking of collaboration, Red Hat has a partnership with NEC. Honore, what can you tell us about it? NEC has been a long-term uh, Red Hat partner in Japan since the early days of Linux in the late 1990s. Uh, we developed our NFE platform running NEC's VEPC in 2014. And since then, we continue to work on several NFE projects, and now we're focusing on CNF projects, where NEC 5GC container workloads have been validated already on our CNF certification program. Container is Linux, and we're very lucky to continue the work on the CNF project with NEC, who has a long-term Linux partnership history with Red Hat. In the OREC project, we're supporting NEC's CNF development for CU and DU on our Red Hat OpenShift container platform, running a new FPGA RAN accelerator card provided by Xilix. We're also um, de uh, developing Kubernetes operators, um, which is under development now uh, in collaboration with NEC as well. I have a final question for both of you, but I'll start with Abeta San. Uh, do you think that there is uh, anything you'd like to share with the industry, maybe some, some tips or advice? What's your overall message to them with regards to OREC and 5G Open RAN? Yes, uh, in, 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 in order to solve that, uh, so uh, challenges, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Docomo uh, established the OREC uh, testbed in Japan. And uh, uh, one of the main features of the, this testbed uh, this te testbed, the uh, operators can access or can control remotely uh, from their site. So they don't need to prepare the lab. They don't need to set up the uh, test equipment. So they can use our equipment. So this significantly reduces the time and the cost. So our uh, open LAN ecosystem is not just that. Uh, so uh, uh, developing the uh, equi equipment itself, but also provide that the environment, open environment. And Honore, now, what are your final thoughts on the topic? Uh, what would you like to share with the rest of the industry with regards to OREC and 5G Open RAN? Well, first, I'd like to say that because of OREC, um, in, you know, as it relates to the 5G Open RAN, um, there is a substantial amount of innovation and development technical capabilities um, where uh, multi-vendors are coming together uh, under OREC to ensure that all of the capabilities um, are available and that they work and that the desired outcome of the goal of 5G Open RAN is achieved. And that desired outcome is that there's an open platform so that innovation can continue, that new ecosystem partners can be a part of that, and that we can deliver robust solutions to our customers like NTT Docomo in an effective way. The other comment I would make is that the time is here and now to deploy CNF based on 5G Open RAN. Um, the OREC project is real, and based on the deployments of 5G Open RAN, um, real disaggregated and multi-vendor uh, implementations are uh, in production today. So it's no longer a concept and it's no longer a, a, uh, a pilot. You know, because of OREC, um, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very real and there's a, there's a real opportunity for MNOs to take advantage of the technology today. Well, OREC and 5G Open RAN continues to be a fascinating topic. Thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV and for sharing your insights today. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte.